Huh? Oh, oh, I smell it. Damn, thanks, dude. <laughs> nah. Good morning, guys. What's today? Oh, it's Tuesday. Tuesday morning. I've been having this issue with like low RPM cold starts. So what I'm trying to do real quick before I go to work is up the IAC because I think I have like it, I have it at negative something or other. I don't know why. Oh, actually, I do know why. It's because um, I thought I was trying to adjust for the low idle in the computer, but in reality, it's because the idle screw had backed out on the 70 millimeter. I had never really adjusted it. Oh man, I am just messing everything up. Hold on. Okay, so to up the start idle, uh, I'm going to go from negative 10 on the IAC to 0%. I, again, I brought the RPM down so low because uh, I was trying to compensate, but really I had never adjusted the idle screw with the auto body, so that had a lot to do with it. Set the target idle to 1,000. And there's like a couple like idle settings in the... Uh, advanced tables like idle speed versus ECT like when it's cold you want it to have a higher idle so really the, these could be like a little higher I need to go in here and kind of tweak everything but basically when I would start it it would try and be like at 500 rpms that's uh that's too low I want it to be like closer to a thousand um on a cold maybe even higher on a cold start basically when it's warm I want it to be at a thousand so I'm just going to see what this does. I brought the target idle to 1,000 and the IAC to 0. Much better. Yeah, before it would start off at like like 400 RPMs and kind of spit and sputter and work its way up to 1,000. That was a much healthier startup. I like that a lot better. I think my little screen here is, is dying. It's like stuck trying to find a CD or something. It's making a weird sound. Um, but on the way into work, I'm here at Lexus. Uh, I noticed this weird smell coming out of the car. Like, it's, well, not a weird smell. It's bur it smells like it's burning oil. Like oil was getting on the exhaust and like you know, fucking burning it off. So, uh, so at some point today, I'm going to have to bring it in and check to see maybe if the valve cover is leaking. Or I know I dropped the pan to clean it out the other day to see if... It's coming out of the pan it, it could be dripping onto the downpipe but I'm gonna have to bring it in later and check it out because it's um, yeah it's, I, can, I can smell it it has a pretty unique smell when oil is burning off exhaust yeah there's like construction shit going on so sorry for all the noise and that I don't know maybe someone's trying to find their car real quick I'm just gonna take a peek under here Valve cover looks dry, it looks super dry. Looks like not a single drop is coming out of that, so that's good. It was all coming out of this corner. This corner's dry, that looks good, so, oh, I see. Oh, shit. I think that's, I've been here for like two minutes, and it's dripping. Damn, it's probably coming out of the pan. I'm just gonna stick my phone under there and see what it catches. Yeah, so it turns out it's leaking from the oil pan. Like, you could actually see it dripping, obviously. So, um, let me see if I can get a spare minute and bring it in after work. Usually, they're pretty cool, like 30 minutes. So, we get out of here, I can bring the car in and kind of. You know, screw around for a little bit before they uh, close the shop. So I think in a little bit here, I'm gonna go have lunch with my buddy and uh, see what kind of shit we can get into, and then I'll be checking out the old pan later in the day. Hey, look, I'm gonna grease monkey mod video. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna let him drive the shit out of my car. Well, not too hard. I still need to fucking get home. This ERV needs a distributor. I need this to run. It's so quiet. Yeah, it's quiet. You can really hear the blow off of. 
Oh, go for it, dude. It's over boosting a little bit. It's like a, it cuts off to be safe. <laughs> huh? Oh, oh, I smell it. Damn, thanks, dude. <laughs> no, it's, it's fine. <laughs> totally fine. So much smoke. <laughs> Pop it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you see the, the lower downpipe? It's all wet. Where's it leaking from? From the oil pan. It's like, yeah, I need to... I was going to go over it after work. You see, it's, the oil is like dripping on the ground right now. Oh, shit, huh? Yeah, it is. I think it's because it's missing the nut above the drain, you know? I'm just going to have to figure out a way how to use that, that nut. Yeah. Yeah, that runs good. I like it. It's fun, right? Yeah, it's real fun. It feels like... Oh you know? <laughs> you know, yeah, it's like it has just enough just power enough to be fun. Yeah, but it needs more. <laughs> okay, so this morning I ran this over in a car that I was driving here at work, mm -hmm. and it went through the sidewall of this fucking car. It's funny how it's that same I one. Found it, yeah. Really? That's funny. It's how like <laughs> out of this whole fucking parking lot. I had to pull over because something was going right. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, good thing you didn't end up on my fucking yeah, sidewalk. Right. A little bit of rubbish, that's what that is, huh? Yeah, it's rubbing. Whew, rubbing the rubber right off our fucking wheel. <laughs> <laughs> so the reason it was leaking so much is because the gas started cracking. Like, there, down here in the corner, just... Uh, those are the two worst spots. Oh, and right here, too. I think what happened is I over-tightened it, and I just pinched the fuck out of the gasket. I think that's all that happened. So, I siliconed the shit out of it, but it's still leaking, so I need to go out and get a legit gasket. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps. And comment below if you have any questions, or uh, if you want your video featured, uh, shoot me it on uh, Facebook or Instagram, something like that. I'll feature it on my channel. But thanks for watching. See you next one. Two of the uh, fuck, what's the title?